relationships are not only of one kind it's not just you or your beloved you or your girlfriend or boyfriend in simple terms but relationship is of several kinds it uh, it might be you and your parents you and your spouse you and your children you and your friends you and your professional partners and you and your aradhya your parmatma your god okay so uh, rules are same for maintaining every relationship i had recently um, given one discourse on this subject at one of the programs and um, because this is a question which is being asked several times on several occasions by several people you know they because everybody wants to have beautiful relationship if you are not having a good relation it becomes very tough for an individual to spend beautiful life if you have relations if you are a sanyasi you're a bachelor you don't have any relationship then story is different but as i said it's not about husband and wife or lovers it's about your relationship with everyone and you need to know how to maintain this relationship whichever relationship it is i just wrote few lines uh, some years back rishta sambhalna mushkil banana aasan hai rishta sambhalna mushkil banana aasan hai sambhal ke rakho rishte mein bhi jaan hai so it's easy to make a relationship but it's very very tough to maintain that relationship and it's always advisable to keep your relationships handle your relationships with care because they also have life relations relations are full of life so let's straight away come to this topic that how do you have wonderful relations i would just give you an example of a high rise building earlier we used to have small buildings right one floor then two floors and three floors but nowadays we have 30 32 floors in one building and we call it a high rise building what is the signs what is that one thing that holds that high rise building that is the neve the base the depth more high the building is more deeper the base is isn't it more high the building is more deeper the base is so if your base is not properly made your building will fall down same is with relationships if we are not having a strong base strong root that building is going to fall down that relationship is going to fall down now how do we have a strong base can you have a strong base with lie can you have a strong base with being corrupt can you have a strong base with being manipulative no if you want to have a strong base you need to create that base that root with truth with love with affection and truth is the basic element so always and always keep the base the root of truth in each and every relationship if you lie to your lover your if you lie to your spouse if you lie to your children if you lie to your parents if you're lying to your partner if you're lying to your parmatma this relationship can never ever be a long term relationship you know there was one of my very close uh, person who said until and unless you're not caught you're not a thief but i don't believe this in my opinion once you steal you become a thief it really doesn't matter whether you're caught or not because you know that you are a thief your antaratma your inner self knows you are a thief your parmatma knows you are a thief you don't need anybody's judgment or a or a stamp of someone proving that you are a thief and if you're not a thief even if the world says you are you're not so don't wait for someone to put a stamp on you that you are a liar always be truthful in your relationships 
it is so unfortunate that parents mothers go to kitty parties and tell their kids beta i am going to doctor ha huh? don't trouble the maid what are you showing and what are you proving what are you teaching to your children and then tomorrow when the same child is going to lie to you you won't like it right rule is very very simple very very simple do what you preach and never ever make the base of a relationship on a lie be truthful first thing second thing which is very very important is communication you know with proper communication even war between two nations can be resolved but with lack of communication every relationship minor major can come to an end this communication gap is the biggest problem in each and every relationship even with your relationship with your parmatma speak out express have you told your child looking deep into his or her eyes i really love you my child i'm so proud of you you're my everything have you told this to your mother when was the last time you told this to your mother oh ma i really love you you're my everything this one single statement can sort out and resolve every problem and not just the statement be truthful even if you don't like anything in them you need to communicate it to them and then it is said in shastra satyam bruyat priyam bruyat na bruyat satyam apriyam what kind of truth you should be speaking which is good to hear if there is a blind person and you would say you are a blind person if somebody is not having um, a leg you would say oh you don't have a leg so what are you doing no my acharya ji said my guru said you should speak truth satyam bruyat priyam bruyat what kind of truth you have to speak truth but in a way that it seems pleasant in a way you need to wait for the right time you need to speak it in the right way you need to wait for the right situation if somebody is in deep anger and you just tell them you are wrong will he or she be ever be able to understand this never so what do you have to do you need to tell them you are, you were wrong that day but just wait for the right time then with a lot of love and affection just tell them i just want to tell you one thing one thing that is not good for you me and the family this one nature let's work on resolving this issue and then it will be gone so be truthful communicate express good and bad both but it's not that every time you're expressing the bad thing and never expressing the good thing you need to maintain the balance and third and most important thing you have changed he has changed he's no more the same person she's no more the same lady i loved you need to accept the truth that each and everything in this world is changeable the universal truth is it is beautifully mentioned in our shastras even your body is changing every second your mind is changing every second your emotions and feelings are changing if there is no change we can't survive the whole nature changes and changes the universal truth so so we need to accept that he has changed he has to be changed he has to change that's a that's a that's a, that's that, that's the rule of nature she has changed everybody change you cannot expect a person to be same as he was especially in love marriages to be very very a uh, very very specific i would say especially in love marriages i've seen he was a very different person when he proposed to me now he's absolutely changed after marriage or oh, she was so nice when we were in a relationship after marriage she changed everybody will change once we learn to accept this truth that everything and everybody in this world is has to has to change life becomes more easy for you and for another person accept the change more we stay rigid not only in relationships everything if we don't go with the technology see we all learned i was so against 
taking sessions through a device. I had always interacted with people, right? So I was like, I can't speak to a camera. I mean, t okay, fine. If I'm doing a show, my TV show, I've done more than 40 television shows. If I'm doing a show that's on yoga, but that's another thing. But teaching on a device, ah, oh, that's not possible. But we changed. If you won't change with time, time will move away. Time will move ahead. You will stay there. People, if you won't change with people, people will move ahead. You can't be rigid. Only a dead body is something which is not flexible. So more flexible you become in your life, life becomes flexible to you. Learn to accept the change. Learn to adapt the change. I have stayed in so many countries. Weather is different. Lifestyle is different. Everything is different. Without losing my roots, I have adapted the change. And that's the reason of growth of your individual growth and growth of a relationship, accept the change. Thoda sa tum badlo, thoda sa hum badle, sari samasya sulaj jayegi. So first is base truthfulness. Second is communication, express good and bad both in a proper way. Third, accept the change. So these three very simple reasons. Now fourth, what if Acharya ji, even after doing this, nothing happens? Very genuine question, right? So let's do it first with wholeheartedness. Half effort gives you only half result. If you want full result, do full effort. So let's do it first. Let's see the result. And then in another discourse, a few days after, we will discuss what if this doesn't work. So I'm 100% sure this is going to work in every relationship because it's not only you whose problem is this, even the another person, whether whoms, for whomsoever you are asking this young girl, but um, problem is same both ways. Another fellow must be having the same problem. If you will initiate, he will also cooperate. So problem won't be there until and unless you don't want to find a solution, any one of you. So let's stick to applying these three rules. Uh, let's do it for 15 days, right? And then we'll see what comes up. Then we'll discuss after this.